Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So we're going to get into a reading and see what's the vibe, see what's for a for you guys at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, tips, donations, and bookings. I send you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's get into this reading. What's the overall energy crown in this message for Libra at this time, spread? You drive me crazy. Let, let me cover that booty. <laughs> You driving somebody crazy. Let's get into the All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with this overall energy. Spur, give me some clarity. Let Libra come here as you need this in regards to this overall energy. We have six of pentacles. Four swords and the nine of wands. Whoever this energy is, they definitely don't want to give up on you. They're wounded in some type of way. They're laying down thinking about you, thinking about equal give and take. They could also be thinking about breadcrumbing you, okay? Clarify the nine of wands. We have the ace of wands so definitely a masculine energy could be a fire sign aries leo sag what's the message here for libra and then we have the tower so scorpio aquarius libra gemini masculine They're thinking about a passionate new beginning with you. They don't want to give up. Maybe they don't want to give up on this new beginning. Let me um let me use this. Some of those cards is mixed in together. Libra, you drive me crazy. All right, let's see. Who's in a four swords? Who's laying down, thinking, meditating? Every song reminds me of you. So also, they're laying down, they're listening to music. Every song reminds them of you. What's the Six of Pentacles energy? Cupcake. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they're just thinking about how much you guys, maybe the conversations, it was equal give and take, right? So it had to be amazing. A lot of cupcaking, a lot of mental stimulation here. So now they're in the nine of wands, like feeling wounded. Why are they wounded? Single white female vibes. And humble. So maybe this person, maybe there's some feminine. Let's just say that I could clearly see it. Maybe there's some feminine here that was giving off some weird vibes here. This is giving like a roommate type of dynamic. Um, this person could have also like, maybe you're the wounded one. And this person could have like been coming across as if, it's just weird, okay? But there's something about you guys being humble. So it's like maybe this person was being weird with you in some type of way. Or this other person that they juggled you with could have been like trying to look like you, do their hair like you. It's giving some weird shit. Um, getting high to balance my lows. So now that there is some type of chaos and destruction and upheaval in this two of cups connection or just between you and these two people, let's just say that um, it's like now they're getting high to balance their low. So this person feels really low and they're listening to a lot of music, secret ceremony and social media. So this person could also be thinking about like what it would be like to be married to you and 
they could be all over your social media platform. They could like, they could be like listening to music and just on your social media. So let's get some index cards. Take a chance. So maybe this person wants to like take a chance to reach out to you by text or DM. Spirit, can I have some more clarity? Who's driving who crazy here? Oh, somebody tried to do some fuck shit. I tried to do spell work on you. I didn't know how powerful you were. Now I'm scared. So maybe the person, for someone here, it could definitely be like your roommate. Maybe they wanted more or what's going on with this spell work? Maybe they tried to like, it's definitely getting like a breadcrumb situation, evil eye. So maybe they're evil eyeing you. Someone's evil eyeing you because you're not a, a parent to be lonely without their ass. So it's like they're wishing you harm, but they're watching you a lot on social media. You guys are very humble. They tried to do spell work. They didn't know how powerful you were. So let's find out who tried to do spell work. Who tried to do spell work on Libra? Somebody that be stalking you. <laughs> Look at this. The moon and then the page of swords. There goes the fuck shit. Could be a cancer. They're studying you. Oh, but then again, like I said, it could be the person that this other person was breadcrumbing you with. So now they're afraid. They try to do spell work. They didn't know how powerful you are. What do you want Libra to know about this evil eye? Make sure you guys are protecting yourself. Five of Cups. So this masculine energy and the Empress. Big fucking Empress energy. So this masculine could be like in the Five of Cups feeling regretful. They're sending you evil eye. They could even be like regretful about that. What's this spell work? The Knight of Pentacles. So maybe this person tried to do spell work in regards to like whatever you're working on, whatever you do for work, your routine. Um... Also, let me let me see. Put about a page of swords. Yeah, whoever it is, they are not healed. It's definitely giving a cancer energy. Who's spying on Libra trying to do spell work? Eight of Wands. So it could be a fire sign energy. King of Cups. Could be this King of Cups energy. Heavy Scorpio energy here. And then the Two of Cups. So maybe maybe they're just like you drive them crazy. <laughs> they like they stay stalking your social media. They for someone here, you could know that. You could be looking at the person that you know did spell work. They could have tried to do it on your routine, like how you get your money, or they could have done it like because of a reliable, stable offer from a masculine. Why then a five of cups? Four of cups. Maybe about re feeling rejected and then the ace of pentacles. And there goes the wedding energy. So whoever it is is watching you. They're watching you. They're in the four of cups. They're watching your social media. They're feeling regretful. They feel, it's like crying over spilt milk. It's like, I should have, maybe when you guys were like cupcaking with this person, you could have been talking about marriage with them. Um, it's even giving like sneaking off and getting married type of thing, okay? Return to Cinder, Empress, okay? For some of you, it's just that simple saying it, return to sender. But this person feels wounded, so why do they feel wounded? Attraction, because they're attracted to you. Make the effort and get to know each other. Maybe because whatever happened here, 
you guys could have like stopped it, right? Stop moving forward. What's going on with this single white female energy here? It's really giving like retreat. Oh, there, see? Retreat. True love. So it's also giving like someone else's energy that they were breadcrumbing or maybe she really married to. Maybe you found out and maybe it's like, okay, this is a dub and now they're wounded or you're wounded and you have your guard up against this fire sign masculine or this Scorpio. Um, it's like someone didn't want someone to give you something reliable and stable. They could also feel rejected now and they're just like watching your social media. Could be an earth sign also, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Romance Angels, what would you like to add to this? Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, so this person could be praying. This person feels like you're their soulmate. They're trying to, they want to come together with you. Definitely emperor energy here. You already met the romantic partner you seek. So maybe that's how they feel. And then, oh, they want your forgiveness. But they're shy. <laughs> Who's this spell work? Give me a little bit more clarity on that in regards to the situation with Libra. They scared now, Libra. Homie in love, dog. And an attempt to get him, yeah. So like I said, it was the other fem feminine or the other masculine. However, it's resonating for you. Um, someone could have used your photo to try to do it. They could have literally, like, tried to take your photo off of social media and do it. There's also something about the routine that you were in with this person. Cupcake and have an intimate conversation. And this feminine said, fuck that. Maybe they were rejected by this person. Or it's like the masculine is, like, really sad and down about it. Let's find out why. Why is this masculine energy so sad and down about it? Oh, because you guys are separated and this person is crushing on you. You'll see. There's a rough patch here with you and this person. You and this person could have literally been crushing on each other. It could have been a mutual thing, but this person really wants to like come towards you and offer you like a marriage or something here. Maybe you're emotionally detached. That could also cause this person to send you evil eye because you're emotionally detached. <laughs> but like I said, for my divine feminine energies, it's as simple as saying return to sender. And they keep watching you. Why are they watching Libra so hard? Prioritize. So focus. They're definitely focused on you. Maybe they want you to make them a priority. This person also has like split energy here. And maybe they're like, again, they could have like split their energy between you and someone else. And maybe, yeah, it's like this person is focused on you. They want to be first. What about the evil eye? They just depressed. That's why. Entertain. Maybe they're not smiling anymore. They're not laughing. They don't feel so good. And also it's like they're quietly doing it. They could be doing they could be sending you evil eyes to your YouTube or whatever social media platform you have, but YouTube is literally right there. So they could be evil eyeing your YouTube. It's like you're not entertaining me. You're my soulmate. <laughs> so what do you want Libra to know about this at this time, Spirit? Finance. So Spirit said be clear and specific. Also, yeah, they could have been trying to do some type of spell work on your finances here. Damn, they imagine doing that. You must really be mad if you're trying to do that. What is their advice if the spell work is resonating with them? Step up, direct.
So, it's, yeah, it's on your social media. Also, if someone, if you've been, like, feeling like, oh, somebody's doing work and you've been hiding, I ain't no hiding. Spirit says, step out of the shadows. Right, like I said, it's as simple as saying return to Cinda and then they got to deal with it. This person, like, could want to directly, like, come and offer you this, but anything else. What do you like for them to know? Position. Step into your power boldly. Yep. So, be in your power. Like I said, return to sender. Just being in your power. Because they stalking the fuck out you. Anything about the stalking to their platform? What is their advice if it resonates that they're being stalked on their platform? Clar clarity and organization. Keep your house clean. Clean your dishes. Clean your laundry. Sweep your floors. Just keep your house clean. Keep, keep clarity and organization. I, re I remember I told you guys a while ago, like, if sometimes they say if people's doing certain things, right, and you guys, it's like... It could kind of like, how do I want to say, latch on to, let's say if you have a dirty house, your dirty clothes, you know, things like that. So keep a tidy house, clarity and organization is, is the first and foremost. Spirit said prioritize that, having a tidy house for clarity and organization. What is their advice overall? And then I'm going to get you guys some initials. Fortune's will, luck, and right timing. So, they're doing it to get finances. And all that's going to do is allow you guys to have luck and right timing in regards to your fortune's will. Um, also, stay focused on your finances, on your abundance here. Um, and what about this person that's missing? I'm listening to all these songs. I wonder what they listening to, thinking about you, Libra. <laughs> Is it a, oh, now they playing Tony Braxton in another sad love song. Protecting the future. So, there's something about this person, like, wanting a future with you here. You're definitely not in union with them at this time. Um, also... If you resonate as this was like someone else doing it that they could have been breadcrumbing you with, they were like trying to protect their future as well. Let me get a message from the from the sad man or the sad masculine energy. Let's just say that. Or again, Libra, you could be the one that's with your defensive defenses up and feeling wounded and kind of guarded and against this person. So if it is you, prioritize prioritize your house, prioritize your finances. Because there's going to be some type of divine intervention here. Spirit going to blow some shit up. Give me one for the towel. But I really do like feel like it's a Scorpio. You could definitely be an October Libra. If you're not, if you're a September Libra, you could have been born in 1975. And your birthday could be September 24th. Let's hear from this person that is like think, listening to music and thinking about Libra. They want to compromise with you. They want to compromise now. Your family won't like me. Ooh. So they also feel like your family won't like them, possibly because of a third party. Also, your birthday could be October 3rd. Um, there could even be something here about three years, three months. So 12 could be significant. Oh, September 23rd, October 12th. 
Thank you, Spirit. October 1st, September 30th. What is the initials here? SC, South Carolina, RX, Rex, TX, Texas, H, E, X, Hex. Someone definitely tried to do a Hex in the past. They scared of shit now. H, I, G, A, X, N. Angela could be significant. Angie, slang. Maybe you guys talk with a lot of slang. C. It was definitely a feminine here that tried to do this. Sign. So this could be a sign for you guys. Again, I kept um, stressing about um, simply praying and returning to sender. LAX could be significant. Los Angeles. Somebody, I don't know if somebody over here drinking lean, but I don't think that's the best thing to do. But take that as that resonates to you. Um, there's also something here about someone could be like an extra small as far as like your clothes size. GT could be significant. This could be this person's um, ex before you. Take it as it resonates. Texas is definitely significant. Someone could be a cowgirl. S-E-X, but we know that. So maybe a S-E-X has a minute choke holder as well. Tisha could be, be significant. <laughs> That's funny, but Tisha could be significant because Tisha's literally right here. Um, Sean, S-H-A-U-N. NG could be someone's initials. Also, this feminine that they were dealing with. Same one with them. They no good or something. Alexis could be significant. Allie. This, for someone, if you resonate with the um, single white female vibes, and like I said, it was like a roommate type of thing. Maybe you and this person called each other sis. They could literally be, Axel could be significant. Beverly Hills could be significant. Something about access. So maybe someone is like not knowing where you are. Alicia could be significant. Celeste. Leslie. There's, there could also be something here about a list. Maybe this a C list. So maybe a Christmas list. Maybe you're on this person's Christmas list. list. Sherelle could be significant. This person could have tried to do multiple uh, spell work. They dumb. Something about sugar cookies. Oh, now they playing. Something about sugar, Why you? how you get so fly. Jean could be significant. G-E-N. Heavy um, energy around California. Sacramento. Someone could be a senior. Something about a cage. Maybe this person feels caged. There's also something here about this feminine energy definitely tried this hex. She's scared. Sage. So sage could also be beneficial to you guys as far as cleansing your energy. Someone named sage could literally be in the four of cups. Rage, so maybe this person was upset. Also, light, so you guys are the light. Also, spirit said 
be direct, shine your light, especially if you guys are hiding in regards to this because you feel like um, something's happening and maybe if you hide, that, that will change anything. But um, do like I said and make sure you keep a tidy house and make sure you guys are just simply praying and saying return to Sunday. And if you guys want to go get a candle and like that shit, then yeah, do that too. But also, in regards to your family don't like me, Craig could be significant. And there could also be something about... Scars. So, maybe they feel like your family won't like them because if this person hurt you a lot of times, also, that person is definitely scared. And could be significant. Cain. So, also Shane could be significant. Shantae, C-H-A-N-T-E. It's your ex, Shantae. <laughs> Maybe they ex name is Shantae. But S-C-H-A-N-T-E-X-S-R-L-G-X-I-G and G again. Um, G, G, G could be someone's initials, first, last, middle. Something about the Long Island Railroad. Something about... That's it. Shout out to you guys. I see you much love and light. And I'll see you in the next one.